what do you think the public needs to know about cheese being healthy? First of all, I think it's great that cheese is healthy, and I've known it all along. Uh, one of the things is we all need calcium for our bodies, and men, women, children, and cheese is full of calcium. I read that in your book, by the way. I know, I've been yeah. saying that a long time. <laughs> So the war on fat is officially over and the cheese door is wide open. How will this new message affect cheese consumption? Well, I hope it, I hope this new message increases cheese consumption. Uh, in Europe, they eat much more cheese than they do in the United States. And uh, I just hope that it comes our way. What advice do you have for the timid customer, the one who's been in fat prison for 20, 30 years, and now the door is open for cheese? They can now eat fat, fatty type food. First of all, I always think of Julia Child, and she said everything in moderation. And so even though the fat door is open, they can't just go crazy. They have to do it in moderation. But they should try all different kinds of cheese. Go to a reputable cheese shop where there's someone who can talk to you, where you can tell them what kind of cheese you like and they can lead you in the right direction. And then keep a little book and write down the cheeses that you like and take pictures of them and have fun. In her first book, Paula discusses the valuable nutrients in cheese in Chapter 1. Calcium is the most abundant mineral in the body and is needed for healthy bones and teeth, which is where 99% of it is stored. Since the body cannot produce calcium, we must get it through food. And since bone tissue needs continuous remodeling, a constant supply is necessary. The absorption rate ranges in different age groups. For example, adults uh, absorb up to 30% of dietary calcium, and the absorption rate can be as high as 60% in infants and young children. 90% of teenage girls reach their peak bone mass at age 18, whereas most boys hit their maximum bone mass around 19 or 20 years of age. As Paula mentioned earlier, cheese is a rich source of calcium, making it a powerhouse food source. The most commonly known disease related to calcium deficiency is osteoporosis. About half of women over age 50 have declining bone mass, increasing their risk of this disease. Unfortunately, at age 70, the process accelerates. But there's great news. With proper exercise and adequate nutrition, bone density can be greatly improved. So I recommend eating more of Paula's great cheese.